And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, we're going to be going over today's Saturday Legends, but today we have some pretty cool legends. It's not just the typical generic bad legends. Now, guys, if you do remember what I said last week, I did say that we've had a pretty big stretch of bad, bad legends. And I said, we're getting to a point where all the bad legends have, or recycled legends have kind of already been done with. And that we're probably nearing a time where they had such dropping banger legends. And that appears to be the case today as we did get a pretty good three set of legends. I really like both of them. I think they're both going to be all, all three of them, I should say. They're all cool. Now, is it Lawrence Tail yet? No, not exactly. But it is still probably the greatest wide receiver legend card that we usually get on any given year. I mean, obviously, like, well, for Madden purposes. Is Jerry Rice better in real life? Statistically, yeah. But in Madden, Randy Moss, guys, and you guys read the title, you should know already. Randy Moss is the best Madden wide receiver typically every year. So I'm super excited to go hop into this. Madden's taking a little bit here to load up. But guys, before we hop into today's video, if you're into the channel, make sure to below. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of these legends. Who are you picking up? And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you've been enjoying the content, and turn on the Noti Bell, boys. Now let's head over to the auction block, check everything out. Or, first off, actually, Let's go try to power up Randy Moss and show you guys his stats. Because, I, I mean, I kind of wish I never powered down Randy Moss. I'm kind of upset about that now, like, thinking on it. Because now that I've powered down Moss, it kind of screws me here a little bit. Considering, I think getting his Mutt 10 cards and everything else is going to cost quite a... I have 115 wide receivers. Oh, my God. All right. Let's... let's, let's, let's no, I'm not even going to try that. We're going to uh, filter this out by, I believe, Vikings. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's go check this out. Let's see what his stats are, because obviously the power's gonna work already. Now, this card is at a 90 already. Let's see how much it would cost for his Mutt 10 card, because that's gonna be the decision maker here if I power him up. 260K, and then he has also an NFL 100 card, right? Oh, Lord. This is gonna cost a lot of coins right now. I'll just, I'll just show it to you guys. But, okay, so he's got 97 agility, 99 speed. 98 acceleration, 96 awareness, 99 catching, 82 carrying, 99 jumping, 92 kick return, 88 elusiveness, 94 ball carry vision, 94, uh, 74 stiff arm, 85 spin move, 90 juke move, bad blocking, 97 injury, 95 stamina, 99 spec catch, 96 catch and traffic, 94 route running, medium route running, 94 beat press, 83 break tackle, 94 short route running, and 93, 99 medium route running. So realistically guys, you do not want to put go deep on this Randy Moss. You want to have him in a West Coast scheme because that with West Coast, his catch and traffic, his medium route, and his short route should go up to about like a 97. Plus, Sean Madden, he's pretty much going to have like all 97, 98 stats with catching, route running. He's also going to be his fastest Tyree kill of a good juke move, guys. And he does, as it's been confirmed by one of my friends, he does get human joystick. So considering it's human joystick, guys, that's, that's a pretty big uh, advantage there. He's going to be 6'4", 99 speed with human joystick. He's going to be a catching demon. It's pretty much take that Tyreek Hill off your team and now make your human joystick wide receiver Randy Moss. Because on top of human joystick, you can also give him like red zone thread or whatever else you want to put on him. See, my issue before was I had Calvin with the abilities for like catching. I had Tyreek with the abilities for running and I had to only use one of them. Now, Randy Moss can have human and he's going to be 99 so he gets four abilities. He can get like human joystick. He can get like slow, like route wide receiver apprentice or whatever. He's going to be the ultimate wide receiver, guys. Probably the greatest wide receiver for the rest of the year. This card's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And show you guys some more abilities you could potentially get. As you see down here, he can, he can get, okay, you can get like human joystick. You can get like jukebox if you want, playmaker. Yeah, human joystick. All I needed was 95 agility, which he does end up getting. And whatever else you really want with him. I mean, there's just so many things you can go with. Matchup nightmare if you really wanted to, although I probably wouldn't put it on him. Guys, this Randy Moss is going to be super, super glitchy. I definitely have to get him. Although I only concern with him right now is that I probably want to go pick up some, uh, get some power pass off some other players. Before I go all in on this Randy Moss, because I think I can probably recoup a 90 overall power pass from like Troy Palomalu or something, and then keep on going from there, because I definitely have a lot of power passes that I have on people that I might not be using right now, and try to just lower these costs just a little bit. Let's go check the auction block, guys. And now for week 35 or whatever in a row of me checking the Legend Ultra Legend Fantasy Packs, or Legends every weekend, and they still 180, guys. It doesn't add up. It does not add up. It does not make sense. I, I'm not even going to rant. Not even gonna rant. It does not make sense that they decide like, oh yeah, let's let's have ultimate legend fantasy packs that go for more than ultimate legends. And even if you pull this week's newest legends, you, that's the only way you'll make coins. Literally the only way. But if you have to open up three or four of them to get one, which is still great odds if you pull one in three or four packs, then you still lose. It doesn't make any sense at all to me. But it is what it is. I'm not gonna keep ranting about this every week, although I probably will. 
But let's go on down to the Ultimate Legends. Let's see if anything is up. Let's go to newest. Come on. One down. I need a new controller, guys. I'm, I know you guys probably can't tell, but my controller is beyond gone. I need a new one. Haven't picked one up yet, though, because I've been waiting for the new Xbox One X that should be coming out at the end of the year. So I really don't want to kind of, you know, pick up a, a new controller at this moment in time. All right, so he's not up. Let's check from away. He probably isn't. He's not up either. Okay, so we're going to have to give this some time. So we will be right back while we wait for this to come up on the block. Okay, so Randy Moss was up. That is actually super, super fast. 3 million coins. These people are crazy. Guys, I recommend you go use your 99 power pass. If you have a 96, 91, and like a 99, you can get Randy Moss all the way up for free. Guys, very easy to get him for free. He has a power pass at, near, at every single place that you need him to have one. 98 speed, guys. This card just looks insane on paper. Compare him to Tory Holt. Blows him away. Compare him to Tyreek Hill. Blows him away. Compare him to Calvin. Blows him away. So he has him better catching same frame like essentially gonna get better abilities and faster guys this card is just the ultimate ultimate wide receiver and it's not even close guys if you haven't already go start working on powering on this guy up his power probably only goes for like 10k right now go get that use your power passes if you haven't go level up 98 speed 99 jumping 98 catching so that's all gonna be 99s 95 catching traffic gonna be 99 with all his chems 99 spec catches already 99 deep running is already 99 now it's short medium with john madden passing and power up and Chems, he should be able to get that up to like 96s or 97s so that's going to be phenomenal as well so like literally the only thing he's going to be not the greatest on the field that is going to be medium and short running but he's going to be amazing at it he's just not going to be like the best on the field but that's okay so you have tory hill for he's that guy but Randy Moss is going to be ridiculous guys he's going to be insane i need to hop online with this guy hop on weekend league and check him out I mean, he's gonna be everywhere, but I gotta I gotta get involved now because this card's looking super glitchy. Champ Bailey's up next, guys. Now, if you don't know, Champ Bailey's another guy I've been waiting for all year. I've been telling you that more than likely I will end the year with Night Train Lane, Champ Bailey, and Deion Sanders. And that seems more likely. But the only thing here is that Deion seems to blow away Champ. The only thing Champ always has on Deion is that press. But let's see. Champ fully powered up will end up with 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, probably like 95 jumping, 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone and 97 press so that card's going to be the ultimate all well-rounded cornerback right there with nitrain lane except nitrain is more physical which is why you need to have him but if you can have nitrain lane dion and champ you're gonna have the ultimate wider uh sorry cornerback trio gonna be a little expensive right now so i will not be going all in for champ at this exact moment in time his catching should be really good as well 82 as well as his juke kick return yeah he's pretty much he's like dion with press and just take away a little bit of athleticism which is more than okay for the most part and finally, we have some Legends at 99 overall, which is really cool, considering we've been waiting for this. Now, these cards are going to go for a lot. People are really overpricing these Champ Bailey and Randy Moss cards, which I find kind of weird. Because I'm just going to go ahead and use my Power Pass and uh, not pay for them. But now, the thing is, I'm going to probably go Randy on this one, but Champ looks super cool. And I really would like a Champ Bailey card, not going to lie. Champ Bailey is an awesome card. Even Kevin away like that center card. But again, there's so many cheaper Ultimate Legend options at this point that it probably wouldn't even be worth it to waste my coins on the center. I can just like a 98 overall or 99 powered up center and just rock with him for now. But finally, at least we're in the 99 range and we're done with these 98s. So these 98s should be finally going down in value. Now, Kevin away remember, he is the LTD. So him coming up for a little bit might take a while. So we will be right back. Guys, and the final card is going to be Kevin away Now, I know he's going to take forever to be on the block because he's an LTD. So we're going to do it over here. Kevin away 99 center probably the most boring of them all but probably the most productive of them all because at the end of the day no no one understands how important having like a center and having some linemen are i always get my line right first that's always one of the first things i like to buy but kevin Moore, let's go through stats 99 over center ltd can of course be powered up for the jets six foot four good height 96 strength that's gonna be 99 powered up 97 awareness again gonna be 99 powered up 96 pass block 95 pass block power and 96 pass block finesse again all powered up and kevin that should all be 99 and then his run blocking generically just powered up should almost make it to 99 so pretty much i'd recommend you go with something that increases his pass block when you do go ahead and power him up and kept him up because he will be able to get 99 pass block and his run block will naturally get there just by having like john madden rushing on and then having him powered up so that's gonna be pretty simple right there this kept my is super awesome gonna be the end game center like the end game center should be able to cover pretty much the rest of the game because like, he's gonna be 99 there's really nothing else you can get with him maybe better lead block maybe better impact block which we haven't even seen that yet that could also be 99 but in my opinion, if I had to rank today's Ultimate Legends like you guys know I've been doing, in my opinion, first Randy Moss, like, he's able to do everything, and the ability that he's going to get is human joystick, like, red zone threat, you know, jukebox, whatever he wants, he's going to get anything he wants. 
So he's gonna be able to be the most versatile wide receiver, kind of like Mahomes at wide receiver that just gets everything. And then Champ Bailey next, because Champ Bailey's just phenomenal. That's gonna be Deion Sanders esque. If you have those three that I was talking about, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be unstoppable on defense. And then Kevin Moway, like obviously he's amazing, but like like I said, a million coins or would I rather just get like a hundred k, ninety seven overall center? That's very similar. And if I power him up, I'll get him to close to 99 anyways. Probably the route I will be taking, guys. But that's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Let's head over to the Madden screen, though, real quick. Saying, hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your day. Turn on that noti bell as well. And, guys, if you enjoyed anything about this video or you have anything to say down below, comment it. And let me know who you're picking between Randy Moss, Kevin Mawai, and Champ Bailey. Comment down below who's your number one out of those three. I told you guys I think Randy Moss is mine. But it really depends on what you play. If you're a run-only team, maybe you're going with Mawai. Maybe you're a defensive guy going champ. Let me know down below, guys. It's better for the video. I'm out. Peace.